Reading. Welcome back to God. I'm Mia. Let's dive in. Last night, I had a dream and it was a house. It was a, I mean, a massive one level home. So you would walk into the home and on this side of the home were rooms, right? And so <clears throat> this room was like a smaller bedroom. The next room was a bigger bedroom that I didn't really go in. And my a family member actually had slept in the room, but then ended up leaving, okay? And I didn't go into the room until later. Um, and I kind of forgot that the family member was there. Um, but nonetheless, once you left that side of the room of the house, you walked around and there was an opening to a whole nother like corridor walkway. Now all of this is inside. I walked down the hallway and the room, when I say how big, these rooms were massive. Like, I don't understand how this was just a house, right? It's also important to note the part that was shown was all white. So it was all white over here. Once you went across and you started to walk down the corridor, the rooms had colors. So the first room I came to, I believe it was like blue and white. And there was a, a big um, L-shaped couch. And you can tell it was an L-shaped couch um, clearly because I looked at it, but it was like gray and in the middle of the L, you could tell somebody had been sitting there for a really, 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 really long time because it started to get like the body stains and like, you know, they like get rid of your couch. And so as I looked around, I just saw the couch. I kept walking into the next room and the next room I was like, okay. The next room, the ceiling was red, the carpet was red, the room had couches on either side. So when you walk in, the couches are on either side and there's people dressed in black and red on either side of the room. So they're just, they're sitting there, right? I don't feel scared. I don't feel like any danger, but I'm like, why are all y'all sitting in this house? Ain't nothing going on. Why y'all sitting here? So I remember going to the end of that room and turning around and just out of my curiosity, I was like, I asked him, I was like, how long have y'all been sitting here? And I don't remember if, it was, oh, it was me. I said, have y'all really been sitting here for two days? And they looked at me and they said, yeah. And then they got up and then they all left. And I mean, it was men and women. Some men had red pants with a black shirt. Some women had on a red dress. Some people had on all black. I mean, it was like, but they were just sitting there and they were either talking amongst themselves or they were just sitting there. And um, it, was a <laughs> it was a really strange situation because at first, and, and so I'll keep going. So as you kept going down the corridor, it was like more and more rooms. It was, it was so many rooms. This house was massive. And I also remember somebody playing soca next door, right? Because I was like, okay, am I moving here? Whose house is this? Am I, and why is this so loud? And I remember it was like an independence day. But nevertheless, what I got from that one room with all those people, it was, they were lying. It was, I'm so shocked by it, but it's monitoring spirits. Now, I don't know the significance of the colors. What I do know is that in um, certain um, ATRs, you know, they have the Orisha and they have the colors, right? And so the first room was blue and white. The second room was red and black. And my, my knowing of these Orishas, there is one that is red and black. I don't know if that's significant 
um, for me or anyone else. But I said the ceiling was red and the carpet. I mean, it was a full on red situation. But the fact that they had been sitting there because they weren't waiting for anyone. They, it wasn't like somebody was like, okay, sit here, wait here. It wasn't like, oh, we're waiting for a party. It was, it was like, you're, you've been sitting here for two days. And, you know, it's, <laughs> I haven't had a dream like that ever before where, you know, I just asked a question and then they all ended up dispersing. I have had monitoring spirits in the forms of flies, gnats, and whatever else I have had that. But to be faced in a dream of that and then me confronting them and in that confrontation and them having to say yes and them leaving immediately, um, I think my acknowledgement let them know, like, I know, I know why you're here, right? And so that's important because oftentimes we try to get clarity on our dreams. Like we have these dreams and we're like, what does that mean? Like, I don't like, what? You know, and so I think it's important to, to share these. Um, there's, there very well may be a lot deeper meaning to that. Um, you know, maybe Minister Ewing will see this and be like, hold on. Um, <laughs> but I detect witchcraft. I detect monitoring spirits. I detect um, you know, I, I don't know the significance of that. I mean, the house was huge and it just kept going. And then finally it stopped, but it was just like, bro, who lives here? And nobody was, there was like hardly any furniture. It felt like a brand new house, but the rooms were different colors as you started to go into the secret part of the room of the house. Right. So the presentable part with like what they show you was white and new and modern. And then boom, you got couches full of people dressed in certain colors who've been sitting there. So I don't know if they were waiting. I don't know if they were watching. Like, I don't know. OK, um, but I wanted to bring that up. I wanted to share it because, like I said, it's in the sharing of these things that we are able to see and maybe somebody else has had a dream similar to this uh like I said this is my very first time having a dream like that <laughs> um, but I know when I woke up it is important to do when you wake up you know you have to um denounce that you have to cut all ties you have to you know say I don't whatever covenant that I did made or did in the dream that I don't even remember I cut I sever that I cut that like you have to declare these things right um and you have to decree yourself free from these dreams the video I just did because you are the authority and sometimes in our dreams we do get tricked if somebody tries to give you food or something to drink or um you know have sex with you in your dreams that's an automatic like if you can wake up like if you can wake up sometimes we're in a deep sleep and but when you do finally wake up you have to make it a point before you even get out of the bed to cut that short because we absolutely do make covenants in our dreams through our dreams and that's why oftentimes we're attacked through our dreams by family members by friends by associates co-workers right and so and and also if you're in a sorority fraternity um you've given an oath to something and you know, you don't know what, what open door that, that made. Right. So, and that's just being real. So, um, it's important to stay vigilant and, and try to do your best of remembering your dreams. Right. And it's, it's a safe practice that even if you don't remember every aspect, even if you don't remember one dream to just declare, like, I don't keep any covenant that is evil, that goes against my destiny that, you know what I mean? Just say it say it out loud, make it clear, make it plain, right when you wake up before you even get out of the bed. Um, because that's that's kind of like the safe way of, of moving about your day, right? Sometimes things are slick. Sometimes things are slid in there. So, I mean, real slick. I remember one dream I had, I was about to have sex with this Asian man and then all of a sudden something stopped me. And I was like, okay, that was a lot. <laughs> That's all, that's all I remember from that dream. And I was like, okay, that was a lot. But 
luckily something stopped me. Okay. Um, but again, it's just important to safeguard your destiny and just say a little prayer when you wake up, say you don't come into agreement with anything made, any trick, any scam, anything, any covenant, any agreement that you knowingly or unknowingly made in your dream last night, anything that you were tricked into, anything that came against you, all evil, all of it, right? Lay it all out. So that it can be wiped away, it can be dealt with, can be confronted. Because until you do that, it's going to, it has free reign, right? Whether or not you remember it or not, that, that doesn't matter. If you agree to it in the dream, you agree to it, okay? So just safeguard yourself. Um, share this with, with anyone else who may need it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.